Hello gorgeous ones and spunky people. This is a surprise love reading for you. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. Sorry, that was loud. And anywhere in your chart that you may have cancer and be interested in. Could be somebody else who's got cancer. Mm. You might be interested in them. Anywho. Um... As you know, I don't usually do love readings, but I had a, uh, just a sense that you might be needing one. So, yeesh. Cancer. What have we got for cancers? In the love department. At the bottom of the deck, we've got chemistry. Can you see that? A little bit bright. Mm, chemistry. And we have e control. What's this about? I say, what's this about? And communication. So I think sometimes when we start a relationship, there's always, you know, if it's not always, but the majority of the time, there is some kind of chemistry going on. And after a while, that can wear off a bit. And it can get a bit scary sometimes, so you feel like you're losing control and you try and keep um, the chemistry going. But the suggestion here is rather than try and control everything, and then I will usually backfire. So rather than try and do that, how about you just communicate how you're feeling with your partner and... That way, they understand better, you feel better because you're not so scared, you're, like, you're more proactive, let's just say proactive, instead of reactive, and there's, there's a much better chance of um, a healthy understanding then of what each other needs from the other. We're starting with the turnaround. So I'm guessing that that is the situation, that we're going from the need to control and uh, coming out of a place of fear to the need of communication and that is turning everything around in our best benefit. This is also the um, hanged man in a standard tarot, so it's another way of seeing things. Let's see what else we can see things, how else we can see things. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Trees, which is abundance. That's a nice thing to start with, isn't it? So then we have six of stars, success, sorrow, all that thought. I'm just going to lay these out and talk, talk through it, my loves. She looks sad. I think there's been some success. And it's like this is following this, this lead. Uh, it was successful. You were noticed. You were like on stage. Uh, and, and you felt very 
very valued because you were on stage, because you were um, you were admired. Very, very Leo energy coming through here. Something happened though, and it you felt um, a major loss. You might have. Um, it's like you lost your, your, your shine. And I don't think, I don't... This is because you've got a major thing. In the past, you saw yourself as, unless you were um, almost like on 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 show, on parade, on on point all the time, that you weren't going to be lovable. And something has happened that um, really took the rug out from under your feet, and so you felt like you weren't. Um, lovable anymore. Something's happened though that it, you've, because of this grief, you've been starting to see things differently and you've been almost refining your understanding of what love is. That's helping you to move, um, it's like a big move. It, it could be you could be moving house, but it feels like a big move, like a it's either a massive mental shift or a big physical move, like another city or another country even. But that's that's the feeling it's got. And you're going in with this open open hearted um curiosity about finding out what it really is, finding out what love really is um, and working on not, not chasing that but working on what it is within you to be that you want loved, not the showy side, the authentic side. What is it, you know, what do you want people to truly see within you without having to, you know, wrap twinkly lights all around you? What do you want them to be able to see themselves um, just when you're in your authentic self? You're going to work on that for a while and that will, um, it could bring up some, It could, it could bring up some stuff from the past, but it will help you move through that. Um, it will help you see how there was there was someone in your past that actually really loved you for who you were, but at the time you didn't think that that that, that was true. You thought it had to be. Um, hard and it had to be, you know, dramatic and romantic and there had to be fights and breakups and makeups and all of that. And so throughout this process, you're going to discover that that's not really what it's all about. It's really about this stable um, connection and seeing one another, you know, because the chemistry wears off, but there's always that connection um, if that's if that's what the authentic authentic love is about, um, not not codependency. You've got all four sixes here. Big movement, but balancing out, really balancing stuff out. Um, 
moving on from codependency, moving away from previous kind of attachment to um, the need for this relationship, coming into a really nice, stable, once it, this is what's happened, this is what's happening now, and this is what's coming up. Do the work. Do the work now. Be open to new ideas. Be open to new ways of seeing things. Um, don't assume that the way you were raised is the only way it can be. Go in and have a look a bit deeper because you've got the Nine of Hearts, which is the Nine of Cups coming up, and the Ace of Stars, which is the Ace of Wands. So you've got this abundance of wishes coming true and brands making you passion and drive and all things exciting, followed by the King of Swords um, or the King of Angels. I don't want the reflection. And the, the key word is the peaceful warrior. So there's this real peace, but it's, there's still a strength and, and um, movement forward, very good at communicating um, passion and drive and all of that. And, yeah, this is beautiful. Yep. Um, once you do this, it will come in very fast because you've got, after all this work, um, getting balanced, seeing the lessons from the past, getting balanced, moving on from the, the pain, learning from that, and then deciding that this is what you wish for, getting that, getting a passionate new start with the right person. And you've got um, justice coming in here, which is the divine order and the equilibrium. Real, look, I've got, all of a sudden I've got goosebumps all over me. Um, so it could be a Libra that's coming in, but this really nice balance and it's going to come in fast. Okay. It's coming in fast, my loves. But starting dates are up to you. When all, all of this is going to kick off is up to you. So, my loves, get your learning gear on and off you go. Lovely. Bye.